Hi friends, it's me, Miss Jordan, Children's Museum Tucson. And for today's, dun dun dun, we wiggle, we are going to read a book and we are going to stretch along with the words. And the reason I've chosen a book today is because, I don't know if you know this, but it is Love of Literacy Month at the museum. So I thought, what better way to stretch our bodies and get our literacy in by reading Stretch by Doreen Cronin and Scott Mention, published by Athenium. Stretch, adorable, and here we go. So friends, as I read along, or as I read, you can follow along at home um, by stretching your body with the words that I read. All right. Stretch with me, hands in the air. Count to three, hold it right there. Stretch up high for a snack in the trees. Stretch out wide for a ride in the breeze. Can you stretch to the ceiling? Can you stretch to the floor? can stretch with a whisper or you can stretch with a roar. I can stretch underwater. I can stretch on a wave. I can stretch on a surfboard if I'm very, very brave. Some will stretch to show you feathers. Some will stretch to show you spots. A stretch that goes a stretch too far might tie you up in knots. A yawn is just a stretch that starts that starts deep down inside. It travels up into your mouth and makes it open wide. If I were an inchworm, I'd stretch from place to place, from New York to Paris, the Statue of Liberty to the Eiffel Tower. If I were an astronaut, I'd stretch in outer space. I'd stretch my lungs to take a breath and blow out nice and slow. A bubble will stretch and stretch until there's no room left to go. Pop. If you stretch me and I stretch you, we'll stretch twice as far. Who knows what we can do? And that's the end, friends. Happy stretching. See you next time.